Good morning. Uh, we are again at the Rondelli Foundation in the series of interviews with our distinguished uh, friends and ambassadors of uh, uh, our friendly states. And today we have the honor and pleasure to have a uh, Lithuanian ambassador to Georgia, uh, Mr. Andrius Kalindra, who is uh, a great friend uh, of Georgia and who has a lot of friends in Georgia already after seven months of being here in Georgia. And it is a pleasure and honor uh, to have you today at the Rondelli Foundation. Now, let me start with the bilateral issues. There are a lot of issues I want to discuss with you. You format uh, the uh, lets us to do so, but let's try to touch upon all the key issues. But first of all, let's start with the bilateral issues. I know you are in the uh, finalization of the details of uh, the preparations for the visit of President uh, Nauseda to Georgia. And uh, what is the president going to say to Georgian people and what is his, uh, on his schedule? Thank you very much uh, for the for, for opportunity to talk to you. Yes, uh, tomorrow uh, on Thursday, uh, President Nauseda is, is uh, starting his uh, official visit to Georgia. Um, and you, you will know that, that Lithuania, and, and uh, this is not about just Lithuania and Georgia, but, but the people of Lithuania and people of Georgia, they, they do have something, sp something very much special among themselves uh, regarding the, the, the uh, understanding, uh, the same history perception, uh, and the same will to create and uh, to construct this state for, for the future. We will not be able, both countries, being a small country, but very important countries, we will not be able to fix the past, but by being together, we will be able to fix the future. So this is the, the, the key element. Definitely on our part, um, and we, we, we do share the uh, Georgia's uh, political ambitions regarding the NATO and EU. And we're not talking about the path, we're not talking about the aspirations, we do talk about the membership. Um, we will address uh, the, the uh, issues related to the regional security with uh, Russia's aggressive actions as well. Of course, uh, we will talk uh, on, on the elements related to, to the Georgia NATO, uh, Georgia's contribution to the, to the international peace and security. And definitely bilateral agenda is, is, is in place. Uh, despite the COVID, there is increased number of the youth going in and out. Uh, the students exchange, uh, the tourism has started, uh, Kutaisi Airport first flight from and to Kutaisi yeah. was from and to Vilnius and yeah. it was allowed so, so so indeed many 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 things around and this visit also it is important just once again to reiterate our strong support to, to Georgia's territorial integrity and sovereignty and to discuss and to have strategic discussion on the things ahead as next week uh, the NATO summit will take place uh, we do st start preparations for Eastern Partnership Summit so we do see Georgia, and we do see Georgia's role in, in the Euro-Atlantic community. Um, it's great to hear that, uh, that and we always uh, uh, are very grateful that uh, Lithuania is one of the strongest supporters uh, inside the North, North Atlantic Alliance uh, for Georgia's uh, uh, membership and uh, integration full integration. Uh, what is uh, expected in Lithuania? How do you foresee the developments at the NATO summit uh, in Brussels? As far as I know, it's not going to be the uh, a classic uh, NATO summit. It will be a short one, uh, but uh, there will be first time the US President uh, Joe Biden meeting with his allies. What do you expect is going to be discussed at this summit? And uh, also, I, uh, I, as far as I know, this US-EU summit is also uh, scheduled for this uh, trip. Uh, let us touch upon these two uh, e uh, events, <laughs> let's say so. Of course, uh, an issue is um, kind of a threat to international peace and security. And there we do have uh, a number of elements around. 
would be eventual NATO operations, NATO peacekeeping operations uh, in, in other regions. The Afghanistan is about just to be concluded where the Georgia paid such a big contribution and then Georgia's uh, society and families paid, 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 paid the loss of the lives of, 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 of uh, uh, some, some dozens of, of persons. And uh, indeed, this is a tragic loss for everyone. So uh, definitely the issue related uh, vis-a-vis policy with China, uh, Russia, Belarus, definitely will be on the agenda. Um, same same Ukraine and Georgia as, as the members uh, of the Eastern Partnership and then the, the, the countries that indeed are much kind of ahead, much more just to, 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 to work well that, that path. Do you think that uh, the, uh, not inviting Georgia and Ukraine to this summit would be a, a wrong signal to, to, to our adversaries, to our mm. enemies, to Russian Federation? What, how they consider that uh, Georgia and Ukraine you know, are not uh, at this summit uh, represented? You know, uh, well, when uh, the ministers of foreign affairs uh, of Baltic states met with uh, Secretary of State Blinken just uh, a month ago, they, there was no present uh, of Georgian or, or Ukrainian ministers, but they talked very much for the sake of the future of Georgia and Ukraine in the, in, in the Euro-Atlantic community. So definitely the, the presence is, is important, but as you just uh, said, uh, it will be not this kind of full-pledged summit, it will be mm-hmm. kind of a couple of hours of, of summit, and please rest assured that there will be some countries, one of them Lithuania, that will definitely uh, will, will speak on behalf of Georgia. How to reach the consensus? It's maybe the one million dollar question, but how to reach the consensus inside the uh, alliance mm-hmm. to speed up the process of Georgia's and uh, Ukraine's integration? Uh, I see the uh, Ukrainian president's uh, uh, very loud statements, I mean, urging uh, alliance to do it today, not to postpone for the uh, foreseeing f- future or unknown uh, uh, future, because uh, we are facing uh, the uh, problems, uh, the threats uh, for coming from Russia today, and we need this uh, membership. How to reach this consensus among these, those, uh, with those skeptical countries? What do you think? Well, uh, indeed, it is. Uh, first of all, this is kind of you know geopolitical decision. That's not the technical very much, it's about the geopolitics. And we do remember our own path. Uh, there was a political decision just to, 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 for some countries, including Lithuania, just to be, to be joining the NATO alliance. The preparations are, are going uh, well, and then there is the enormous support for, for Georgia's so preparation would be this uh, NATO, Georgia substantial package or, or joint uh, training commission, uh, or also Lithuanian uh, military servicemen, they, they are present here in, in, in Belize. But the most important definitely is just to build up the coalitions. So the Polish president visit here just two, two, two weeks ago, mm-hmm. our president visit here, this is about just to, to, to build up the coalitions uh, within the uh, alliance. And uh, we are talking about the political support. At certain stage, the political support is, is, is much more important. Rather what than should government. Georgians do to get that support? Um, well, it's, um, it's, it's definitely a well, well, one million question uh, worth a question. Uh, first of all, just to be ready inside and just to be committed inside. And uh, we, we do see that, uh, that commit, uh, commitment uh, just uh, regarding the, the practical cooperation, it, 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 it goes on. Um, right now, oh, having in mind the um, a bit uh, changed uh, geopolitical landscape in the region, it, it, it gives uh, much more um, importance to, to Georgia and much more capitals in the West. They are thinking about the Georgia in, in a sense, just to, to, in, in a way, just to be more proactive uh, regarding the Georgia's uh, membership to, to, to the NATO. So there, the Baltic states, Lithuania, others were <clears throat> indeed very much kind of, you know, just contributing in building up, setting up these, these, these coalitions. And uh, uh, there is no unique formula of the success. All of us were inventing that, that, that kind of formula, but just by, by blending all our efforts, uh, just uh, I, I definitely 
definitely believe that we we are about to reach that goal, especially when 2008 Bucharest summit. It was very explicit in saying that, that Georgia will become a NATO member state. Another big question uh, is uh, how to deal uh, with Putin's Russia. Uh, in 2010, uh, NATO strategic concept, uh, Russia was uh, uh, mentioned as the uh, partner to North Atlantic Alliance. Uh, how it will be defined in the uh, new concept? Will it be called directly, bluntly, enemy, adversary, or uh, what, what is the discussion now about? Of and course. how to deal with them? Yep. Uh, in the Lithuanian case, uh, we 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 went through the strategy in Georgia of 2008, after the Crimea and Donbas event, events in 2014. We understood that um, the essence of the political dialogue is being perceived very differently in Moscow and in Vilnius. Um, we as a small countries who are not about just to, 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 to ag make aggression against anyone. This is uh, we're about putting up the kind of the neighborhood that we do respect each other, uh, we, we, we do communicate, we do partner, but uh, this is not uh, at the price of uh, eventual loss of the sovereignty or territorial integrity or independence. So uh, there are differences regarding how we do perceive the liberties, freedoms, in, in, in the Russian Federation and in, in other countries, including Lithuania. Uh, and, and this issue definitely is, is, uh, remains very important. As a state, small states, we're investing so much in resilience, would be military resilience, would be information resilience. And uh, just to have uh, the population and the statehood and state institutions united for the sake of the country, for the sake for the sake of the statehood. This is actually is very much important. Regarding political decisions, uh, how how it will be named or, or not named, uh, the most important is uh, this um, uh, European uh, Human Rights Court decision of twenty first of January this year that sets very explicitly. And it's legal definition about the Russia's responsibility. So, so, so we do we do we do have to uh, impose uh, that impu impunity does not have a place in in modern uh, politics. Uh, would be one or another country. So, um, and we we have to to work in order this uh, this this core decision so shall be implemented. I know that Georgia right now is ahead of the big important uh, steps at the General Assembly of the United Nations where, where, where Lithuania also will very much support it. So uh, it's a continuous issue and this is not against someone. This is in, in, in favor of, of our interests, in favor of, of, of our, I would say, political uh, dignity and, 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 and political independence. Do you think that uh, NATO should be unanimous on decision to provide Ukraine with the uh, defense capabilities? There are some countries which are against uh, uh, of uh, getting involved in the sort of military conflict. As as practice show, sometimes uh, the NATO's alliance is, is, is uh, much more Mm, capable to, to provide support than uh, separate the NATO member states, but sometimes we do see that uh, certain member states uh, they may provide uh, much much kind of also same same big volume support to would be Ukraine to would be someone else. So the most important this is not about the form, uh, this is about the, the practical support, and this practical support uh, would be Ukraine would be Georgia. This is definitely is in place. Um, now, uh, we cannot uh, miss this opportunity to talk about a uh, problem with Belarus and uh, uh, Lukashenko's regime. Uh, we saw this uh, violence of the all kinds of international laws, right? uh, and of course uh, um, air piracy uh, uh, should not go and hopefully will not go without uh, punishment and the reaction from the international community. EU made some decisions. Uh, um, sanctions list is enlarging. Uh, 
You have recalled uh, your ambassador from uh, Minsk, as far as I know. So what else needs to be done to pressure uh, Belarus uh, to, to uh, first of all, to free the, the arrested political prisoners and the journalists, stop the repressions mm -hmm. and uh, to change the regime uh, uh, in uh, Belarus. Mm -hmm. What needs to be done by the uh, free world and the democratic community? First of all, all of us probably will, we have to understand that we cannot uh, just blend the values like international rule of international law, liberties, freedoms, and the eventual economic interests. So we're very much saying as a country, as, as a country that is well known for kind of freedom fighting, uh, fighting uh, uh, history, that the values this is first, and only then some uh, eventual economic interests. So. Even though our economies with Belarus are kind of connected, there is a very big part of the bilateral investments and trade, etc. But we are standing very firm regarding all the violations of the human rights. It started immediately after the uh, presidential elections last August. Uh, the people themselves, it was not done by or invited by the government, but the people themselves from Vilnius stood just uh, hand in hand this kind of Baltic, Baltic way as it was 30 years ago from Tallinn to Vilnius or right now from Vilnius to the Belarus border just to support Belarus society and Bel uh, to support society's rights to have their own voice and to have their own voice uh, listened by, 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 by the authorities. And right now we do have, we face that in a country there are almost uh, close to 500 uh, so-called political prisoners, uh, would be youth or would be journalists, uh, they are arrested because they do think a bit differently. This is not how the modern world uh, looks like. So um, after this uh, piracy, de facto this is piracy, a uh, flight between the two EU member states was, was landed by force. Uh, the EU was very quick in, 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 in stopping uh, the use of the European airspace for, for Belarus uh, air companies. Uh, other countries also have joined that, uh, including the Ukraine. Also, the, the Belavia does not have a right just to, 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 to fly in. Right now, we are, we are working very much and it will come up, definitely the next the economic sanctions package. And this Will it be sectoral economic, uh, sectoral sanctions coming? Uh, the most important that there is consensus in the EU regarding the upcoming economic sanctions. So let's uh, let's wait uh, when it will be uh, everything uh, on the paper, and it, it will come up uh, quite shortly. Uh, but the most important once again, you know, even some countries, they may have uh, economic interest, but, but uh, right now we do face a situation where this is not about economic interest, this is about the dignity of, of, the, of the persons, would be Georgian uh, citizen being right now in, in Belarus, or so, so some, some other country citizens in, in Belarus. So, so this is, this is uh, I would say, eventual uh, threat uh, to, 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 to the European security. Uh, and then we will be very firm on it, because uh, uh, all the rights have been violated and it continues for, for a number of years. And this is just uh, in the vicinity of, of Vilnius, just 40 kilometers, like Nitzchata. Yeah. It's already the Belarus yeah. border, with uh, another um, kind of a gift for, from uh, Russia and Bel Belarus partnership to Lithuania, this is the Asteris nuclear power plant that was uh, opened just two days ahead of the presidential election. So this is another element that uh, we're facing regarding all, 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 all kind of hybrid threats, I, I would say. So once again, uh, EU is united. We're approaching all the partners as well just to, to, to be united. Uh, and Belarus, it will be and it will remain in the agenda unless the situation is, is changed. Very short remark. Vilnius is well known for, for, for the uh, Belarus activists that, that are living uh, European Humanitarian University. Yeah. Also is placed in Vilnius where the youth of Belarus are um, receiving the high-level academic studies. Yeah. You mentioned the uh, economic interests. Uh, and there is the economic interest with China uh, in Europe, uh, across the world. 
but uh, there is the issue of the human rights, the, uh, the uh, values, uh, principles. Uh, um, there will be a lot of discussions at this uh, G7 summit, uh, at the NATO summit, a lot of discussion. Is there a consensus uh, inside the alliance or inside the uh, European Union to uh, do sort of coalition uh, with the United States to deter, um, uh, to compete, let's say, uh, the, the, with China and uh, to get into this competition and to put the primary uh, goal on the agenda, the democratic uh, values and the human rights issue. And what is the Lithuania's position? I know that you have left the 17 plus one uh, format not a uh, long time ago. Our foreign policy is being based on, 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 on a few pillars and let me list them. Freedom, uh, respect to the fundamental uh, human rights, uh, rule of inter international law, uh, and uh, multil uh, multilateralism. So, once again, just based on, 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 on these elements, we do see that uh, in China certain developments are not uh, in a way that uh, they would meet uh, the international community uh, expectations. Uh, yes, you are right. Um, just a month ago, we we, we decided to, to to quit this format 17 plus one. We think that uh, uh, these kind of semi formats um, they go in contradiction to the EU uh, as as one uh, with EU interest. Mm, we have participated in it as, as a country for since 2000 and uh, maybe 10 or 8 when it was created. There were many kind of uh, economic, uh, a number of uh, economic memorandums uh, where we were signed up, etc., etc. But uh, we, we we did see that uh, you know one is just to sign sign another just to, to, to comply to it. Uh, it. It did not bring, uh, as it uh, has been expected, any eventual uh, economic or, 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 or trade interest. Mm, at the same time, the situation in, in China has uh, been changed and we do see that these elements like uh, human rights uh, uh, would be the religious um, freedoms, etc. or now minorities' freedoms, they, they, they are on the top of the international agenda. Will Lithuania support the ratification of the investment agreement with China? Well, uh, uh, I know that uh, on, on our national basis, we passed a law that, uh, by, that, that uh, implies that by 2025, uh, any, any technologies that are being used for 5G uh, shall be from the um, NATO and, and uh, OECD uh, countries. Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, so this is the element that we just went uh, internally and there was, there was a, a consensus uh, in the country. So regarding this, this ratification of uh, investment agreement, uh, we'll see how, how it will be. But this is not about just investments. This is about more trust and confidence, how the things are being dealt. Uh, and then we, we do have the questions on our side. Actually, Didi Madlova. Didi Madlova. Didi Madlova. Didi Madlova. Didi Madlova.